Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug. So there has been a hot fix today. So let's dive straight in, right in and see what they've done. So first of all they've fixed a crash which could happen if the same veteran player applies the buff on a tag target from the focus target talent multiplier times to the same enemy in rapid succession. So if you're spamming C or whatever your button is to mark a target you could crash hor horribly and they fixed it. Uh, they have fixed a crash which would happen while inspecting the talent tree of another player if that player left the Morning Star. Fixed a crash where, uh, which could happen if a player left a mission and was replaced by a bot just as the mission ended. Yeah, that was an annoying crash. Uh, fixed several un uh, unidentified uncommon crashes. Fixed an issue where the veteran's exhilarating takedown was increasing the toughness damage taken instead of decreasing it. So that's quite a big one folks they have finally apparently fixed exhilarating takedown so uh, hopefully hang on let's just I'll show you on screen what it is if you're not familiar it is this so they have fixed this to no longer be absolutely broken uh, they've also fixed an issue where the psychers mark six surgical staff and smite blitz uh, would randomly target enemy body parts. So random hit zones on the target instead of going for the head, which was just absolutely irritating. This resulted in heavily, heavy reduced damage when a limb or body part was targeted. The on-goal kill effect will still affect different enemy body parts at random, but the damage now has been reassigned to head and body shots. Uh, they've tweaked the Psyker's Forge Surf Staff to always trigger maximum on-kill gore effects on critical hit kills. Fixed an issue where the progress for collecting scriptures and grimoires, uh, grimoires sorry, for Melek's contract was no longer tracked. Fixed an issue where the progress of the Flawless Execution Penance Chain was reset after the release of the Traitor Curse Part 1 Anniversary Update. And the dev note for this is the game will update to the progress value obtained in either up to hot patch 1.2.03 or in the traitor curse part one anniversary update selecting the highest one we do apologize for the issue and for the possible loss of progress that is quite annoying when in unobtained status the penance in the flawless execution chain will now display the current value being tracked instead of the best value ever achieved and the dev note for this is previously the penance ui display the value for the highest uh, uninterrupted run performance by the player and did not reset to zero when the player got down. This made it difficult to properly check the progression in unlocking the penance as the actual progress being tracked by the game may not have been the one shown in the UI. It's just annoyingly weird. Fix an issue where the chest wound the chest would clip through the breastplate of the zealot's Krieg greatcoat a cosmetic on female characters fixed an issue where the tassel on the duelist's auto gun weapon skin was affected by physics incorrectly so mostly pretty dull fixes but the two big ones it's exhilarating takedown is now fixed as you can see on screen and the surge force staff and smite have now been fixed to actually hit the chest and the weak spot up from just hitting random bits and pieces and destroying all damage on it. So, all in all, pretty decent these hot fixes. They got they got to them a lot quicker than I thought they would. So um, yeah, which means I'll probably be putting out a couple of builds tonight to reintegrate exhilarating takedown into the talent trees. That'll be fun. So I hope this has helped, folks. And if it has, please like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And feel free to check out the members area. We've got new stuff going up there at all, all the time. And there will be prize draws and giveaways coming very soon. So, you know, give it a look. Until the next video, folks, take it easy and I shall see you later.